Wyoming, joined this morning by some smarter people than I. We are going to talk about what is going to happen in the sky today. So I've got Stephanie Slater on my left, Tim Slater on my right, and then their friend, uh, Tom from Ontario, Canada. How does it feel to be here, guys? How does it feel to be here on this day? I mean, there's a bunch of excitement going on. People are up early this morning. People have got their telescopes out. People had breakfast first thing this morning. They're ready to go. The free pancakes at the Ramcota. How does it feel? I was expecting it to be um, another astronomical event, but instead it feels kind of like a lifetime event. So I'm a, I'm a bit uh, excited. My skin's a little tingly. Same. My skin is tingly too, mostly because it's a little chilly out. Now, Tom, why did you pick Casper to come and watch the eclipse? Well, two things. One, all the forecasts were that this was going to be the best place in the whole path. Mm -hmm. And I think so far it's looking really good. And the other is my friends, uh, Tim and Stephanie Slater, that uh, sort of helped set it up for me. So it was worth making the trip all the way here. It sure was. And it's going to be a perfect place to watch it. Tim, what exactly is happening in the sky today? Can you explain that in, in layman's terms for us? I sure can. And what we're really looking at is the moon, is very, which happens very rarely, the moon is passing between the earth and the sun in such a way that the moon completely blocks out our ability to see the sun. And the sky will turn dark and we'll be able to see stars and we'll be able to observe the sun safely without any special equipment because the sun literally will be gone for about two and a half minutes. That is amazing. Now, obviously, people are flocking to the path of totality all over the country. What does it mean for that amount of people to experience that same event at the same time all over the country? Well, I, th I think what's happening today is a, a once-in-a-lifetime event in more than one way. It's not just you personally seeing the eclipse, but it'll be the largest number of people in human history to see an eclipse at one time. And it's all going to happen within 90 minutes. It'll be the largest number of scientists ever doing one task at one time. I mean, this this is the thing. But I, I guess for me, beyond the, the science and all the statistics and those things, I'd say when you're watching the eclipse, just feel it for a minute. Let, let your skin go chicken skin, and, and if you got to cry or laugh or whatever it is, um, just feel the human experience piece of it. And that's a big thing. So many people are worried about capturing this, and uh, so many people have telescopes. They're going to have cameras out. They're going to have their phones out. Why should people just sit, Tom, and, and watch this once-in-a-lifetime event? It's a chance to take in the real human experience of it. Uh, you know, it's pretty special to be in this 70-mile corridor of, of, the, of the shadow of the sun, uh, of the shadow of the moon and uh, to feel that specialty and to just experience that to possibly see the shadow roaring across the sky towards you or across the ground towards you uh it's 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 like it's special no maybe you guys can help me with this we've heard uh i've heard a series of myths over my years about eclipses that uh you know people can channel energy the aliens are coming the apocalypse is coming how are we going to debunk those? <laughs> well, I think we're going to be pretty safe. Eclipses happen somewhere on the Earth about twice per year. And if they're happening about twice per year, and we would know if these crazy things would be going on. The reason we don't see them very often, though, is the moon shadow on the Earth is very, very tiny, only 70 miles wide. And so you have to be in a very special place like Casper, Wyoming, to be able to see it. Normally, the shadow is only visible from the ocean. So people on cruise ships get to see it. The rest of us have to wait 18 years between eclipses. And the last time this happened in Wyoming was 1918. So once in a lifetime event, everything you need to know is on EclipseCasper.com. That information's coming up on your screen. We'll be right back.